So the eruptions that are occurring on the peninsula are so-called fissure eruptions. Magma comes to the surface, emerges as lava, and it flows and it covers a large area. In contrast to many volcanoes that erupt, where you have explosive activity, a mixture of gas and water, producing uh, volcanic ash and ash that forms in the atmosphere. International travel to Iceland is not affected by the volcanic unrest on the Reykjanes Peninsula. This is because the eruptions are confined to a small area and they don't pose any dangers to the atmosphere. This means that air travel within Iceland and also between Iceland and other countries is totally unaffected by the ongoing activity. So a volcanic eruption can affect air travel. If an eruption were to occur south of the Reykjanes Peninsula at sea, it could produce an eruption that creates volcanic ash. If this happens, there are well-rehearsed protocols to close the airspace over the area to assess the situation and to reroute air traffic. This type of work happens normally in Iceland, both during volcanic eruptions and during frequent volcanic exercises. The ongoing volcanic eruptions pose no danger to the operation of Keplavik, the international airport for Iceland. That's because the eruptions are at a safe distance away from the airport and the hazards are localised. The plate boundary on the Reykjanes Peninsula runs along the middle of the peninsula and Keplavik, the airport, is located on the northern side. It actually sits on the North American tectonic plate. When eruptions do occur, the airspace is closed temporarily where air traffic controllers assess the impact of the eruption together with staff from the Icelandic Meteorological Office and then the area is quickly reopened again. This has happened now on three occasions recently and it's caused no disruption to air traffic. There's no reason to change your travel plans for Iceland. The ongoing volcanic unrest will no doubt continue but the eruptions are small in intensity, they're confined to a small part of the Reykjanes Peninsula and the hazards do not project to great distances so there's no no emission of volcanic ash, no lightning strikes, nothing that you would expect to see from a much larger volcanic eruption uh, from, from a typical peak-shaped volcano. So everyone is encouraged to visit, airports are open, travel is open and business goes on as normal. Thanks for watching. For more information about the ongoing volcanic unrest on the Reykjanes Peninsula, please visit the Icelandic Meteorological Office's website as well as visit Iceland.